Um, me, myself, for example, I'm facing a lot of um, medical issues, as what I explained before. So that why, for me, it's um, um, very um, important issue to have an interpreter. Many times, as what I explained, we go to the hospital or to the GP, we don't find an interpreter, or the doctors, they don't have interpreter, or they don't have the time to use the phone line. So it is very, very difficult situation. As what I said, I face, I'm facing a lot of problems in my shoulder, in my kidney, and I have leg problems as well, pain in my leg. So um, it's very complicated for me without an interpreter to um, see or uh, to meet the doctors here. Uh, most of the time, when, whenever we go to the hospital or to our GBs, normally they request us if we can come with our own interpreters because they don't have interpreters or they just don't feel like using the phone lines. Me, basically, myself, I feel emotionally relaxed whenever I find an interpreter. As what all the people know, we came from a very difficult situation, very difficult um, um, time we've been through. And without an interpreter, with us in the hospitals, sometimes I feel so nervous and I difficult for me to control myself. I don't know and I cannot predict what will be my um, reaction. So whenever it's the interpreter is there, it gives me more confidence and I feel uh, more relaxed. Uh, we came from there, from our country, we, to here, and we are looking for a um, better life. Having an interpreter beside me is much better because this person can touch me and he can see, and he can see my pain and can touch it as well. And therefore, he can explain much better for me and for the doctor what is going on and what's happening. Not like talking to one through a phone, and this one is somewhere else. Um, he cannot feel or he cannot understand your pain unless he's there. So it's always much better to have an interpreter beside you. Um, sending request here for the uh, the government of the UK, for the local authorities, or for the people who are, um, has any say to do uh, with this um, issue, to try and enhance um, this type of service um, because it is very important uh, for the newcomers here. Our concern is what will happen after one year, as the office is only supporting us, or going to support us just for one year. So what after one year, we will still need um, an interpreter or someone who can interpret for, interpret for us. Um, therefore, um, it's always important to have one, someone beside you who can explain exactly what, what you are saying. Uh, it's not important if it is um, through a phone or physical interpreter, but I think it is always better to have someone physically beside you because I feel that person can explain exactly what you are saying. Family support worker, one of the main goals um, that we um, want to achieve for our clients is that they become independent as soon as possible. The experience that I have um, of language line um, unfortunately has not been great. 
the issue we've had with language learning is that um, some of the feedback that we have had from clients is that the um, doctors are not using um, language line. The doctors often use Google as a quick method of trying to get information from the um, patient. Some of the consultants, um, as soon as they realise that I'm not there to interpret, um, get quite frustrated and in one occasion, um, one of the consultants um, was asking me how does language line work and um, I explained what I knew and even then you can see the frustration that he did not want to use it and um, he actually threw a pen across the table in frustration. Um, the client became extremely distressed and um, uh, walked off from the room. The consultant did apologise, however the um, client um, took this quite personally. The feedback um, from doctors regarding language line is that they always prefer a physical um, interpreter and again um, they themselves do not know how to book a physical interpreter or if it's possible to book one and often um, then the request is made um, on the paper. Um, the doctors are always asking me as a support worker to bring an interpreter and I'm always having to explain um, the project and why I'm not able to provide an interpreter. Uh, if the client is unable to um, communicate well with the health professional, that does um, affect them emotionally um, and maybe even um, stops them from wanting to access um, any healthcare um, advice. Um, language is a um, very important um, form of um, communication and if the clients are not able to communicate with the health professional, um, then the system is not really working for them. I think for some um, form of appointments, um, for example, where physical examination is required or the subject is quite um, more difficult than your average visit to a GP maybe, um, a physical interpreter is required and I think that would um, really um, improve um, the communication between the client and the um, health professional. Um, also, if um, accessing language line, I think there needs to be a distinction between the different regional Arabic and uh, when the health professional calls through to the language line service. I think that would also eliminate some of the issues um, with language line.